guys. Alrighty, I am back with a July flip through of all of my spreads in my farmhouse planner. So this is how my currently page turned out and I will just zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit more. It turned out really super functional. There's not a lot of decoration on here at all, but I actually really like this simplified look. I think that it looks great. I love it so much. I thought when I originally started this planner that this wasn't going to be like a currently section that I liked or like a dashboard page that I liked, but I actually like it and I think that it's super functional and it allows me to just like simply decorate, but also put a lot of pen on this page. So that is how my currently section turned out. All right. So then this is how my monthly spread turned out and I really like it. I like that the page itself is very neutral. And so it really allows me to put any color on the page that I want. That is something that I really struggled with in my, what was it? It was a horizontal planner, but it was like the super seasonal one. It was really, really cute. It definitely made me feel a little bit constricted as far as like what colors I could put down. So this is my monthly spread. It's super functional. It's not like super decorative. I think I might next month maybe add like some quotes and stuff in here on days when I don't have things going on. But for this month and for this first month in my like somewhat neutral planner, I think that it worked really well. So that is how the monthly spread turned out. And then this is my first weekly spread. And so again, I did just take like what I had in my horizontal planner and just transfer all of the information. So basically I like redecorated all of the pages, <laughs> but I'm someone, I don't know, because I can't in a Mambi planner just pull out a month without having to like either tape something or, you know, make something fit correctly. So for example, here, I'll show you. So you can't just like take this out, for example, without losing like half of this. So there, everything's just kind of on the back of the pages. So I felt like I wanted to just have this in here. It's good information for me to have to reference. I didn't want to have to keep going back to the horizontal planner and that kind of thing. So I just went ahead and redid them all. But this is the first one. Super summary. All of these stickers for the most part came out of the new seasonal sticker book. And I knew that was the one that I wanted for the first week because it's so super summery and fun. And I thought that was perfect for July. So that is my first spread here. And then this is my 4th of July spread. And I'm actually really happy that I got a chance to redo it because I really didn't like how it turned out in the horizontal spread. I feel like I took like all of my 4th of July stickers that I could find and just like threw them all over the pages. Like it just looked like 4th of July threw up in there. And while I kind of feel like that in here, I feel like it works a lot more. I feel like this is just like my planning style and it maybe looks messy, maybe it looks full, but I just really like this look of a planner. I don't know. And I know that it's just a planner and it doesn't have to look perfect, but I feel like it keeps me so much more motivated when my planner looks really nice. So I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> that just works well for me. And then this is my next spread and I used the squad goal sticker book, this long sticker and same with the one from the 4th of July spread actually came from the student sticker book. So I thought those matched perfectly and they were great for the sidebar. So I Again, I really liked how I have the freedom to pretty much put anything down on the page that I want. Like I don't have to worry about, you know, color scheme and whatever. I can just choose the stickers that I want to put down and put them down on the page. So really happy about that. And then this is my July 16th spread. And most of these stickers came from the pastels mini sticker book. A couple of them came from other things like this is from the gold star quote sticker book. This right here is from the washi book, the pastels one, and same with these little hexagons. Those came from there as well. But again, most of them came from the pastels and I really liked having pastels in here this week. This was actually the week that I decided to make this switch. So I was really like pumped and excited. And I feel like this is like a very creative spread. So I really like this one. I think it turned out really pretty. And then this is the current week. I'll pull my meal plan out just so you can see it. I'm actually 
filming this for you guys on Tuesday, so that's why my checklists are not done. <laughs> so I'm filming that for you on Tuesday. But I really like this one too. I used the Brights mini sticker book or mini sticker pad, whatever it is, for this one, and I really like it. I think it turned out really pretty and colorful. So yeah, really excited to see what I can put down for August. So while we're wrapping up, I'll just kind of go back through them and we'll do an August setup here very soon. All right, you guys. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. If you are someone who uses a horizontal planner, make sure you leave that down in the comments below. And if you want to find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you're new around here, hey, my name is Caitlin and I would absolutely love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below. And by the way, you guys have fun today.